Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the if two alternators operated under the load condition. In the last session, we will discuss about the two alternators under no load condition. Now we will discuss about the alternators under load condition. So we already discussed some point when two alternators operated on load condition, that time you should follow some parameters. That is one the excitation sorry the emf no load emf should be same like this and the currents almost assume that the currents generated by the both are same next the power factors of the two machines must and should be same and rating of the machines are same this is active power rating actually and the reactive power rating also same reactive power rating also same these are the initial parameters now when these two are operated in parallel if first point we will discuss about this if effect of change in excitation if one machine excitation is changed then how the parallel operation will be done we should discuss here whenever we are discussing about effect of excitation change in effect of excitation means we should keep in your mind the mechanical power that means steam input steam input should be constant steam input is kept constant so okay if mechanical steam input is kept constant so now just take it as two machines like this so machine one is there and machine two both are taken here if the excitation of machine one so we have the excitation of machine one is there is increases for example is increases then what happened we should look at here so for machine 1 and machine 2 we should write some parameters if the machine 1 consisting of the e1 and it has zs1 synchronous impedance 1 the another have zs2 synchronous impedance 2 and if the machine 1 excitation increases that means so we will write here and whenever the excitation is increases this for this machine the synchronizing power is generated the current is the synchronizing current synchronizing current here the machine 2 is there that is the e2 machine 2 is there so for these parameters we should write first machine the active power is same that is one kw1 is equal to the kw2 both are same for the active power so we can take it as the active power but what about reactive power when the excitation increases then automatically the reactive power so reactive power kva r1 increases more and kva r2 is it has some value compare with this is the high value this is the low value right like this whenever kva r1 increases means automatically the current produced by the machine one that is ia1 should be high ia2 should be the low ia2 should be the low so then what happen when ia1 is increases then automatically the power factor of the first machine will be decreases first machine is decreases and here the power factor of the second machine is increases second machine is increases so whenever two machines are parallelly operated when excitation is varies the active powers are constant and whenever the reactive power is varies armature current changes and power factor should be decreases okay next effect of change in steam input if we are looking for the steam input what happen here whenever change in steam input means excitation should be constant excitation should be constant
excitation is constant value generally so for example if the machine one steam input value increases if the steam input of machine one increases for example we are increasing here increases so what happened we will look at here here the machine one there and machine two is also there okay right machine one and machine two is there so here we already taken exit here steam input is varied but excitation both are same that means kva r1 value equal to the kva r2 and what about active power kw1 is increases just compare with kw1 kw2 value is the low and then the armature current ia1 value is high and ia2 value is the low ia2 value is the low and the power factor is power factor is high whenever kw increases automatically power factor value increases and power factor value is decreases why because just look at here so we can write kw1 means the active power we can take it as the active power whenever active power increases we have some relation for the active power that is we can write like this vi cos pi vi cos pi so whenever the active power increases means automatically the power factor value also increases armature current also increases voltage value is constant voltage value is the constant okay like that yeah so and we will give some relation you know that always the power factor power factor is represents with the cos phi that should be proportional to the active power kw and inversely proportional to the reactive power okay so active power is we can write vi cos phi and reactive power is the vi sin phi this is the relation we have some relation the power factor equal vi cos pi and the vi sin pi okay right so we will discuss some points regarding this effect of change in steam input and effect of change in excitation here just look at here we will give some conclusions here effect of change in excitation causes only change in its reactive power it will be only reason for the reactive power but reactive power sharing but no change in the active power okay no? excitation means excitation is related to a simply a reactive power so it will not depend on the active power this is the one thing the second point same effect of change in steam input effect of change in steam input causes only change in active power active power sharing but no change in reactive power but no change in reactive power so that means most important thing steam input is related to active power only not reactive power not reactive power next change in power factor is more change in excitation generally if power factor will be changes the more change in excitation therefore the power factor can be controlled by change in excitation this is most important thing okay power factor is more affected affected by change in excitation it is the most important thing change in excitation and change in supply change in excitation and the change in supply okay so so this is about the complete information regarding whenever two alternators operated under load condition in that load condition if any change in excitation how the reactive power and how the reactive power as well as armature current as well as power factor is varied second effect of change in steam input if steam input is varied what is the change in the 
active power armature current and the power factor what are the changes we will be discussed here mm. next how the active power reactive power and power factor armature current all are related also discussed here next next we have one a small mcq is there and isolator alternator a single alternator with load so we have an alternator is there that is connected to some load some load this is the alternator this is the load supply to pure resistive load so he given the load value also the pure resistive load so i will modify the diagram is like this for example this is the alternator for example this is the alternator alternator generally consisting of the combination of uh, resistance and reactance and this will be connected to the load this will be connected to load this will be connected to load connected to load and if the mesh if the excitation machine increases then its operating power factor is lag lead unity power factor and none so this is the alternator and it have the excitation is like this this is the load is available here the load is available here and what, what is the question let's just look at here if the excitation of the machine increases here we are increasing the excitation only that will be increases then its operating power factor value is most important thing is no change in power factor generally so here we can tell that answer is no path for the power factor or fa we don't have any path for the power factor okay and here only the pure resistive load actually this is the pure resistive load lag lead unity we can tell we can give we can't tell about the we can't tell about the power factor that's why we, if the any alternator is operated with the parallel then we have some path then it will be operating lag already depends on the situation but here there is no path for the reactor uh, reactive power that's why we can't give the conclusion for this okay so this is about the two alternators operated under load condition okay i think all of you understand the session thank you